Sometimes I can feel it Sometimes I don't Sometimes I will need it Sometimes I won't But I can never tell you, tell you, tell you It's the love, it's the sound, it's the loss, it's the loss now, it's the love, it's the sound. Sometimes I will need. Tell you, tell you, tell you It's the love, it's the sound It's the lost, it's the lost now It's the love, it's the sound It's the love, it's the sound It's the lost, it's the lost now It's the love, it's the sound Never tell. I've got a lot of words I could never tell. I've got a lot of words that I could never tell. I've got a lot of words I could never tell. But I could never tell you, tell you, tell you. Never tell you. But it's the love, it's the sound. It's no lost, it's no lost now. It's the love, it's the sound. It's the love, it's the love, it's the sound. It's the love, it's no lost. Fantastic. Come over here and have a chat with you guys. Congratulations. Thanks very much. So as of yesterday, Meteor Choice Irish Song of the Year, you guys have been nominated. How are you feeling? Great. Yeah, when did you find out? Uh, last week, was it? Last yeah. week, so you had to keep your mouth shut, obviously. We did. We didn't tell our parents or anything No about way! It. Yeah, How so did you manage to do that? It was very hard. Okay. Very hard. Um, okay, so tell me, this is amazing because that's your debut single and it's been nominated for this. Um, how long have you been together? Uh, Just under a year. Under a year. Yeah. And you're up against the people like Codeline, The Script, Hosier, all these guys. Who do you think is going to be your biggest competition? Um, that guy well, Hosier, Hosier, Hosier won't be anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've never heard of that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of big in America, isn't he? Um, and then, of course, tell us a little bit about your debut EP, Little, uh, little Hours. So it's obviously self-titled. Um, tell us about the kind of recording process, because the final two songs, you decided to kind of strip it back a little bit. Yeah, well, we initially went to studio last March with two tracks and we did them full band, so it was a four-piece effort. And uh, we kind of released the single off our own backs first, it's the love. But then uh, when we picked up management and stuff, and things started kind of going somewhere and around, I think it was the picnic time, after yeah. we played Electric Picnic, uh, we went back in the studio and we did two more tracks in like a day. Yeah. more acoustic tracks yeah. yeah so it just sounds like everything has been crazy 2014 was nuts for you guys was there any standout moments that were like yes highlights for you um 
James Bay. James from Bay. Me, yeah. James What's that? Whenever we played with James Bay. Oh wow, yeah, amazing. That was, that was cool. I actually had tickets to the gig before we no went. No way. And we got the call. We were just like, oh, do you want to support? I was like, I'm going anyway. So that's well, fantastic. That's absolutely incredible. Yeah. And you also had a gig in the Sugar Club just after the your EP release, and it completely sold out. Was that a surprise? Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Um, unbelievable. We Especially coming down to Dublin, you know, when you're in your hometown and your home mm, county, absolutely. it's kind of different. But when you come to Dublin, mm. um, and when did you realise? Like, was there? Did you have loads of your family and stuff in the sugar club? That was the thing. Yeah, we thought it would be all just our friends and uh, family, just the whole crowd from Donegal. But whenever we got there, it was actually we didn't know anybody. You were like, great. Yeah, we've got lots of new we're, fans. We were getting yeah. texts during the day, being like, oh, sorry, I can't make it. And we we're like, what? And then it was packed, and we didn't know half the people there. So yeah, and luckily enough, you've got another gig coming up, don't you, in the Pepper yeah. Canister Church. Uh, when's that happening? Uh, February the 11th. Yeah. Um, and who can go? Because actually, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? You can, it's 14s and up, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what can people can expect from that? Because obviously, the EP, how many songs are on the EP? There's four. There's four. There's so, four, at, yeah. the, at the gig, what can people expect? We're going to play five songs. At the yeah. Gig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we've got loads of songs. Um, Loads of new songs that nobody's heard yes. at all. Yeah. Ever. Even us. Ryan hasn't even heard you them. You haven't even heard them. <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, we've got loads of new songs and um, yeah. There's lots of cool stuff. And what um, are you most looking for? What's the plan for 2015? Obviously win the Meteor Choice Irish Song of the Year. Oh, that win that. Easy. And okay, then yeah. And then what's what's the what are you looking forward to? So Pepper Canister, then hopefully back to studio to do yeah. another EP. We're just mm -hmm. we're flat out writing this all the time. So we're just cool. eager to get back in and put something onto another CD. Awesome. Well you guys have brought um, a pair of tickets as well. So if you want to get your hands on those, get onto our Twitter, tweet us at tube TV and use the hashtag little errors and you'll get your hands on those tickets for that gig in February. Guys, thank you so much for joining us and what an welcome. amazing performance and best luck with the meteors thanks thank you very much. cheers see you soon bye